Überraschung, als er Adrian Jackpot Lewis aus dem Turnier warf. Herzlich willkommen, Jordi Mayweather! Ja, die Mio Wissler nimmt es auf mit der aktuellen Nummer 19 der Welt. Im vergangenen Jahr, da gewann er seine ersten beiden PDC-Titel. Er mag große Bühnen, er mag ein großes Publikum, denn er ist der Rockstar Joe Cullen. An diesem zweiten Turniertag gilt die Distanz Best of 11 Legs. Man braucht sechs Legs, um sich in das Achtelfinale zu bringen. Und der Caller dieser ersten Partie ist der Kirkulator. Herzlich willkommen, Kirk Bevins. Welcome back to Munich for the evening session of day two of the German Darts Grand Prix here on the European Tour, featuring some of the biggest names in world darts. Not Kirk Bevins, not him. Some proper big names. Michael Van Gogh in the world number one, the world champion Rob Cross, Peter Snakebite Wright, the man who probably should have won the first European Tour of the year and won five of them last year. Multiple Euro Tour winners Michael Smith and James Wade. Mensor Sulevich, the Champions League of Darts winner, former world champion in Jelle Klaassen, a winner on the Pro Tour this year, Ian White. And we start with Joe Cullen, the rock star, number seven seed here looked to have played himself back into some form last weekend in Leverkusen and he takes on Jordi Maywissa, a man who we weren't Ladies expecting to be here. Is Jordi to throw first. Game on! Jordi Maywissa produced the shock of the first round in the final game of the first round late last night when he produced some sparkling stuff to knock out the two-time world champion Adrian Nine Lewis in a last leg decider. Survive four match darts to do it. And he takes on Joe Cullen, looking to make the final day of action tomorrow. I'm Dan Dawson, Chris Murphy alongside me. For Cullen against Maywis so are the first of eight games tonight from the Zenith Kulturhalle in Munich. Yes, Adrian Lewis, the first, well, the biggest name to be knocked out of the tournament so far. But plenty have followed this afternoon. Six consecutive seeded players were beaten in the afternoon session. Gerwin Price, Dave Chisnell, Kim Ibrex, Mervyn King, Kyle Anderson and Simon Whitlock all heading home early from Munich. In a really exciting afternoon Waterman. of Arrows action. More of the same please this evening. Alan Norris and Daryl Gurney, the two seeds that did make it through. So the draw, obviously we were saying yesterday and the early part of today that it had a similar feel to last week because the seedings were the same but by the fact that six of them have been knocked out it's not going to be the same players meeting each other no the final day is going to look very different 139 yeah, Joe Cullen did require 164 there so a dart missed at the bullseye 25 when he returns And an early break of throw for Joe. Joe. Yeah, so the winner of this will play Steve West, who defeated Belgium's Kim Hybrex earlier today. Yeah, and this capacity crowd in Munich has already been delighted by the fact that the German number one, Max Hopp, Produced a fourth win of his career against Mervyn King Ooh, and Jordi Maywisser hits back with a 174. So Max is going to be in the final day of action. A maximizer, former nice. world youth champion, still the number one in Germany, even though Martin Schindler is breathing down his neck. Yep, Max Hopp would meet either Mensa Sulevich or Danny Noppert. 100. Their clash later on this evening. Yeah, a clash of reigning major champions. One for the BDC, one for the BDO. 26. Not the visit that the rock star would have wanted there. Great chance for Jordi to break straight back. Well, let's not discount Jordi for all this contest at any point because he was 5-2 down last night against Adrian Lewis. And somehow found a way to win. A combination of him finding a way to win and Adrian Lewis finding a way to lose. Well, yeah. More on that in a moment as Jordi looks at 87. Quick look at Joe's score. 
realises that he doesn't need to go 20 in bullseye, so treble 18 and double 8 would be the route. 79. But he will come back. Yeah, 5-2 down. Yes, Adrian did miss two match darts in two separate legs. So four Nine match six. darts in total. Eight. But, as Jordi looks at double four, now double two. And he pins it. Yeah, look at the legs that Jordi put together. And this has been a theme for this weekend. Players who are behind, when they've got nowhere else to turn, they need to turn it on, and they do. Jordi Maywisser threw a 10 darter to make it 5-3, back-to-back 15 darters, and then a 12 darter to close out the win. Now, we saw Darren Jeez. Webster chuck three 12 darters in a row to beat Dave Chisnell. Even Chizzy was impressed with that. And we saw Keegan Brown put an astonishing series of visits together against Simon Whitlock to win the last three legs of their encounter earlier on this afternoon. Six. There was, what, 35 darts in those last three legs for Keegan Brown to get over the line against the Wizard. 11, 11, 13. 98. And the 13 darter was because he'd laid up. It could have been 12 if he'd gone for the bullseye, but he declined it. I mean, one of the 11s, did he miss about a double? Or yes. Had a chance for he could, yeah, could have been a 10 40. Yeah, impressive stuff from Keegan Brown earlier on today. He will take hold Darren Webster in the next round. So the parts of the draw really opening up. But this is the thing. We've only got 16 40. seeds, and it's on the Pro Tour one-year order of merit. And there are plenty of people who aren't in the top 16 on that who are incredible players. So it's not like if you're not a seeded player or you're, or you're an outsider, a rank outsider. Adrian Lewis was one. James Wade is one. Stephen Bunting is one. Cullen, the 164 that he did threaten to take out. Not going to happen again. 64. So, the Dutchman. Jordi Maywisser from The Hague in the Netherlands looking for 52. 32. And a chance for a, a steal, a third straight break of throw. It's a good guide, isn't it? Oh. But he's gone a different route. 84. He did look a good guide. 20. But he got the dart at the double that he wanted, just couldn't pin it. Can Jordi pin this? His head's closer there, but then looked like he was working his way towards it. Well, doubles deserting both players at the moment. Yeah, and Cullen really would have fancied that double four. Does fancy himself as a great double four hitter, does Cullen? Jordi Maywis is not fancying himself being a great anything hitter right now. We've seen a few legs like this over the course of this weekend so far. Alan Tabern's been involved in most of them. Well, think it's Joe to throw first. Yeah, Alan Tabern, another one of those guys who's come through as an unseeded player to the final day of action. First time that we'll see Tabby in the final day of a European tour. Survived five match darts against Jermaine Watamina yesterday. Survived a match dart today against Kyle Anderson, the Auckland darts master. 57. Charmed life. The Cullen's form on the Pro Tour circuit until nice. last weekend has been a poor start by his standards, hasn't it, to 2018. A man who won a couple of titles last year. He's very honest, Joe, about what he thinks of his own performances he is the first to say if he thinks he's not getting enough recognition for how well he's playing but he'll also stick his hand up and say I'm not playing well and he's admitted that this year has not been good despite a couple of quarter final runs prior to last weekend it's a bit better from Cullen his first maximum but last year when he was winning his first Pro Tour titles he was telling everybody, why aren't people talking about me for World what? Series and Premier League and all this sort well, of stuff? Not just why aren't they talking about me, especially the World Series events. Mm. He felt he was kind of robbed of a spot. And he should Six. have been selected for at least one what of those tournaments. Now then. 
Not going to happen. So Cullen to avoid a, another break of throw. Looking to take out 147. 131. Your set up shot. Will it matter? Might not. But it will because Jordi May Wister is having a nightmare on the doubles so far in this match. Is that one out of 13? Shot on the fourth leg, Shokan. The leg is Jordi to throw first. Came on. 3 1 to the Yorkshireman. First holder throw we've seen in this one. 96. One hundred and thirty-four. They have met once before these two. Just the once. That was about this time last year in the Pro Tour event, and it went all the way to a last leg decider before Joe Cullen just got the job done. Yeah, well, it's fifty-nine. Interesting that their only meeting went six-five because two of Joe Cullen's victories, well, his two victories last weekend, both went all eleven legs. And of course, Jordi's win against Adrian Lewis Ray yesterday was 1 6 5. Well, what a response that is from Joe Cullen to the 1 8 6. 1 on the fifth leg. Jordi may have it. Great little progress. passage of play Come there. On. 180, 162 in response, and then Maywisser takes out 90 on the bullseye. 70, 12 yeah. dart leg for the Dutchman. Yeah, what the 162 from Cullen did was force Jordi to go for that. Now, we don't know what happened in that meeting 100. between them in the first round of that Players' Championship event last year, this time last year. 84. It may be that you already got some match darts in that. We don't, all we know is that it went to a deciding leg. But what we do know is that by the end of that day, Joe Cullen had gone on and claimed the title. Did so beating Darrell Gurney in the final, denying Gurney a chance of doing the double that weekend. A rare feat, although we have seen it done by Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwen this year. One of two men to take five legs off Joe that day, and Daryl Gurney in the final did miss the opportunity to win the match. Two darts as double, or just one at the might have been might have been one at the ball if I remember rightly, but either way, it was a tight affair. The Gurney had won the day before, and Cullen outroared Daryl, didn't he, with his celebration, which is where on the pro tour but it just showed what it meant to each of those players Gurney of course went on to be crowned a, a major champion later in the year is Joe Cullen one in waiting I think he's a Euro Tour champion in waiting but is he going to get past Jordi Maywisser there's been a thorn in the side of top, at least one top player already and he's starting to be the same a bit of a troublemaker for Joe Cullen. Well, missed all those darts at double in legs two, three, four. 100. And is he going on a little spurt here as he did against A.D. Lewis? Because he's gone 12 dart to 14 dart. 131. There you see. A couple of scrappy legs won by Cullen. And then Yordi has just kicked in a bit. 100. But it seems to be his thing, this, doesn't it? Certainly this weekend. Purple patch at the end of the match. And look at that first nine average for Jordi Maywis. I mean, that is world class. Bit of news, by the way. Joe Cullen's run came to an end at the hands of Peter Wright. A return to the old faithfuls, the darts that he's usually performing Whoa. the best with. Well, Peter Wright's Whoa. luggage Whoa. hasn't followed him to Munich. And he's having to use... He's using the same set of darts. We'll tell you where he's got them from, but they're a bit heavier, aren't they? Yeah, three grams. Ball. 56. Cannot produce Whoa. another bullseye finish on this occasion. 147 again, not going to be taken out by Joe Cullen. 
40. So this for the lead then. For the first time in the match. And he has the lead. And it's another sub 15 dart leg from Yuri Maywisher. Well, what was impressive about Joe Cullen's performances last week was his, his fight. When he was asked questions, he came up with the answers. Yeah, he did so against Danny Nopper in what was a, a pretty ugly game at times, but he showed Eight real five. character to come through it. It was a slightly better, well, a lot better game, actually, with Chris Doby, and he found a way to win that one. 58. And he did lose to Peter Wright in the following game, but for a large section of that match, he was averaging close to 110, Joe Cullen. It's just that Peter Wright was superb all weekend. 92. Yeah, Peter Wright's had to borrow some darts of a child, hasn't he? Too. He has. 134. Compete against Josh Payne later tonight. Yeah, some darts he's given away as a gift to the son of our MC, Amar Polka. I'll have and them he, back now. Yeah. Need them. 99. I mean, it's not ideal. They're heavier than the ones I normally have, but... Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah wonderful stuff. One, I two, nine, check out on double six for a Eight 12 one. darter. We have got effectively a best of three game here. And there's Cullen. So often we say when Michael Van Gerwen goes on these charges where he keeps on putting sub 15 dart legs together, we always say he's going to keep on doing that and run away with the game unless you can find a 12 darter to just stop his momentum, to arrest that charge from MVG. Well, Joe Cullen has produced a 12 darter there and just put a big flat hand in front of Jordi Mayweather and said, halt. I'm not sure Jordi's paid much attention going on the first two visits from this leg. 100. It's going to reach an intriguing climax this match. 98. Jordi gets himself down to a finish. Joe Cullen is not going to be on one, so. 140. He's got half a dozen darts here to move within touching distance of the finish line. Ninety-seven. And this run for Yordi, if it does become a run, has come seemingly out of nowhere. All of a sudden, 70. Cullen back in the leg. Fantastic pressure applied. Maywisser only gets one dart. Yeah, one dart is all there. he needs. Sound like it's Joe to throw first. Emon. Well. If Joe Cullen is to win this, it is going to be another 6-5 win against Jordi Merwisser. But already you feel he's got problems because Jordi's on the charge. The last five legs in this game, 12 data Merwisser, 14 no, data Merwisser, 14 data Merwisser. Cullen hit back with that 12 data and Merwisser just came back again at him with a 15. Superb stuff. After those scrappy legs. Well, certainly leg three was scrappy. Leg four featured some missed doubles from Maywisser. 180! Well, watching him this weekend, it makes you wonder how he ever lost his tour card and how he failed to get through 59. the European Q School. Well, we've asked that question about a couple of players, haven't we? One of them went on to win a Pro Tour title this yes. year. 125! Sure, there are second chances for players, aren't they? It's not a a closed door behind you when you fail to progress through qualifying school. Ooh. And that could cost Joe Cullen. However, it wouldn't matter if Jordi just mops up this turn. And he might just do that. 90. A little bit of hope here. If Joe Cullen can pile in a maximum. Even a ton would give him some hope. And he, that's why he wants to stay on the 20s. 100. The second time he's Jordi done that in this game, ten. it might be vital. 100. That's why. May only get one more chance. Eight. And it's a chance he hasn't taken. Joe Cullen with one the one opportunity one. to force a last leg decider that seemed unlikely just a few seconds ago. Once double top, 
Yeah, yeah what a shot that is. Leg, the dart before, uh, he stepped the across the off and found the treble 20 men. Followed by that Shanghai finish. That is exactly what you were talking about last week. Joe Cullen battling away and producing the class when it counts. Guts. One Real and twenty-three stuff, and we saw that in spades from Joe Cullen last weekend. The finishing has been good. He's been up against Jordi Mayweather, who has been scoring like a, just a machine. There you see that hundred and twenty almost first nine average. That is very very difficult to live with. One hundred. But he has missed a fair few darts at double Mayweather, and it has allowed Cullen. A chance. Now, we saw last weekend against Dobie and Nopper when it got to last leg deciders, he put in a very, very strong leg. 96. Well, he could be on a finish after nine darts. 97. He is. It's a huge one. But he nearly took it out earlier in the game, didn't he? Treble would apply the pressure. 100. J.U.Y. 164. He couldn't, could he? He couldn't. Could he? Good oh, my God! Cullen! You couldn't! Rock star stuff from the rock star. Not only has he shown grit and determination to turn that game around, but the standout moment of quality that we have seen today. You may not see a better finish than that on the European Tour this year. Three ton plus checkouts, the 164 to win it. Magnificent from Joe Collin. Rockstar, right? <laughs> yeah, if you say so, Elmo. Uh, the, uh, the boys there, they were shouting all the way through and I was putting me off like sort of unintentionally, but uh, the crowd is brilliant here, it's brilliant in Munich. Yeah, it is. Seven match starts for Yordi. Seven. I, th I think seven, yeah. Uh, seven, I didn't realise it was seven. No, I, I, it was one of them. I, I felt he controlled early on. And then after, I think, six, seven legs, I felt I was chasing the game. And it was Yordi's to lose, to be honest. Uh, but the, the one, six, four is yeah, something special. So it's just one of them. You um, set your hat cap off and say, well done. Yeah. Did you know you would hit it when, when you were standing there? Did you know it? You never know you're going to hit it, but I had a, I had a good feeling because I'd, I'd missed it in the first leg, I think it was. I ended up losing the first leg. But as soon as the first one went in, I thought, um, you know, I'm, my arm's going good as it is. And the 120 before that was, I think, I think that was, I think that was a winner from honest rather than the 164. Very cool. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow again. Joe Cullen, ah, raus damit. 164 Punkte checkt er zum Abschluss. Und er sagt, ich habe die im ersten Leg knapp.